So we're here in the Rockville Nerd Nerd Lab. We have our, yeah, we have our, I almost just bought a Lamborghini. We have our portable setup with all of our computers, complete with microphone and hey, RGB LED 3D printer and Makey plush. Got the computers down here. Playing some crew. Yeah, playing the crew. So this is going to be an update on the chairlift, which I haven't ever done. I'm working on using my 3D printer to model a working ski lift. Um, and so I was going to show off those models. Uh, I got fancy new filaments for Christmas, so I've been trying out those. Um, here was the original design of the... Uh, terminal at the top. Unfortunately, I was quite tired and I forgot that I was had shifted to 20 millimeter sheave wheels instead of uh, 30 millimeter sheave wheels like I had done originally in Autodesk Inventor before I switched to Fusion. The bull wheel is too small on this design because I forgot to account for the actual sheave assemblies. But this was originally was going to uh, be the top, and so these are the assemblies I ended up using. Uh, each wheel has a pin, each assembly has a pin, and it connects them all into the main tower. These are all, this is uh, four different pieces glued together with E6000 to keep it from moving. The other ones still move though, so you can get any desired angle with the sheaves. This is just another sheave assembly right there. So you can kind of see the wheels rotate and they move around the assembly. This is a wheel. This was an epic fail of the new terminal design when I was shifting filament spools and I forgot so the printer missed a whole layer and when I pried it off the print bed the entire top came off. And these are two chair designs. Uh, the main difference is this design was to test if my printer could actually handle printing it. This is what I tried to do a coupling which didn't work so I shifted over to the coupling I have now. But this is the final design and so you can see it actually works. Um, it's better when you tension both sides. But the pin on the bull wheel needs to be adjusted, and I should probably print it in more colors. It looks better in the rendering right here, where I added the Doppelmayr logo to the rendering in Fusion. So there's the update. Uh, still working on it. Hopefully it'll get done. I'm kind of excited to see it work. I have still no idea on how I'm going to do the motors and stuff. But we'll figure that out as needed. So, uh, yeah. That's, that's about it. I'll uh, keep you updated.